see you've been wrecking things when I left you alone. Yeah, uh, it's a good thing I bought some new trainers in Liverpool because these have just, yeah, they're wrecked. I think they might be. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to drop our, um, our main down. Well, the first thing we do is we get rid of all these tangles. It seems to be particularly good at just knotting. So we just un run it through once, just so that all the tangles are out. And then once we've run through, we actually start flaking it. And we usually do this together. Okay, so once we've um, flaked the line and everything, uh, what we do next is uh, we go to wind and um, we drop the sail. Okay, get ready. I'm ready. Go. Not bad. And hopefully that should be it as done. Yeah, as always, just a couple of lines that need to uh, tidying up. Otherwise, I'm going to strangle myself. <laughs> Try not to do that. Well, I've got some good news and bad news. Basically, uh, we are currently at low tide. And as you can see, I've got my riser just in the right position. Uh, but the bad news is I forgot that tomorrow also has a low tide. And that's 30 centimetres lower. <laughs> so, oh, geez, that means this line has got to be done again. Or we let out the white line that's another alternate so we're going to go through a rise and a fall so before we go to bed tonight um we've got to let out some white line which is what we're going to do
easier, isn't it? It will be easier because, like I say, I forgot that there's another 30 centimetres to drop tomorrow. Well, we've arrived in Port St Mary and uh, <laughs> it's yet another harbour wall bearing. Um, on the good side, this is one where because we've stayed an extra day, it makes very little difference whether we paid for each day individually or taken the 40 day deal. This would have sort of been the break even day. We could have done it either way and come out the same. Because we've done the 40 day deal, um, we still have three or four weeks left to go of this ticket in the Isle of Man. So what we're planning to do is go off, do Scotland and Northern Ireland and a few other places, and then come back to the Isle of Man for the end of season to use up some more of our days. They're paid for, we might as well use them and hopefully the, the last few days of summer and like the start of autumn will be pleasant. We'll have a great time. Um, one other thing it was great, administration was made easy. When we came in the harbour master was leaning over the side shouting you'll have to come up to the office and give me your details and I just shouted we're salty lads from the 40 day deal and he just went Brilliant, no admin, and off he went. And we haven't seen him since. So um, we're here for the night. Tomorrow we intend to go off through Calf Sound and head across the Irish Sea. We've done Calf Sound a couple of times. I'll see about putting a, a link to the video up there. But one other thing is if you are going to go around the Isle of Man, the main Irish Sea tidal charts that you can get are correct for the main Irish Sea, but close into the Isle of Man, a lot of the currents are totally opposite to what the main current is. So if you're coming to the Isle of Man, go here to this website and download the Isle of Man government's own tidal streams for the island. There's two pages of them, print them out, stick them in your pilot book, because I'll be honest with you, if you don't, you're in for a world of pain. You will be going places expecting the tide to be going that way and the tide will be going that way, because that's what happens here. So get those, stick them in. And if you're coming here and you want to spend a lot of time here, Maybe you want to use it to go back and forward. Look at the 40 day deal. Well, it's uh, early in the morning and we've just departed uh, Port St Mary. Gaynor is on the helm looking over my shoulder. Uh, we're looking out for crab pots because the area here is absolutely littered with them. They're everywhere. I can see three, four sets just from where I'm sitting. Um, so we're hoping to catch the uh, slack or just the start of the north going tide in Calf Sound and from that we'll up the Irish Sea. Let's see how it all goes. Um, it's rather smelly here in the cockpit this morning, <laughs> only because um, um, my harbour line caught a jellyfish tentacle. Yeah. It was uh, a lion's mane. Um, so what Beverly has done is um, where the tentacles was, she sprayed vinegar over it. Sprayed vinegar over it. So it's just one of those little handy tips. If you ever get um, tentacles or anything like that on your lines and certainly on your body, uh, vinegar is good for health. Having said that, I've also seen things saying don't use vinegar, use whittle. And I've seen things saying don't use whittle, use baking soda. So there seems to be a lot of legend. We might need to look into this a bit further. But you can also put in your comments as to what we, you think we should have done. Yeah, if you know, what, what should we put on our lions, me and jellyfish thing? Then uh, to put it down below. Yeah, for goodness sake, do tell us. was um, our course made good would be uh, we'd be going towards the fairies <laughs> rather than where we want to go which is uh, Northern Ireland to see Beverly's mum yeah. so um, that's why we're just uh, motor sailing with the main at the moment uh, we can get an awful lot closer with the main than we can with the uh, Genoa out but on the good news, we did see a Baskin shark, and I have to say, it was really nice to see. And uh, it's just a privilege to see something like that, really. It feels really good. 
We've got some spare diesel on board and because we're having to run the motor we had planned to sail this passage and we're sailing it as much as we can but it's like, like a good time to top up. We have a siphon so we won't spill anything and the conditions are nice and benign. The boat is very very stable so it's a good time to fill up. I know the engine's running but the exhaust is on the other side of the boat from the um, filler port so we should be safe enough. have a lot more fuel in there than I thought. 25 litres. There you go. And not a single drop spilled. Sweatshirt.